Hi, this is Joe Macias from AU Tutoring Enterprises. Today I want to talk about graphing exponential functions, specifically what do h and k do. And we're using the Apple Grapher. So let's go over to the Apple Grapher. Uh, basically this is just a continuation of the last video. In the last video we discussed uh, how changing a and changing b would affect uh, either this equation or this equation. Uh, with h and k both set to zero, they're equivalent equations. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to study um, h, changing h and changing k and see what happens. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and animate h. Now if you've watched a number of the other videos, you pretty much have an idea of what's going to happen already. Um, wow, this is even set up already. It almost never happens. Negative 4 to 4 uh, by 41 steps. That's going to give us steps of 0.2. And uh, what do you guys think is going to happen as I change h? Well, let's find out. Yes, if you've seen the other videos, it's going to move. h moves things left and right. And it does so here as well. So when h is positive, it's over on the right-hand side. And when it's... Uh, Negative, the g branching arm tends to go up, start up on the left-hand side. Okay. Uh, again, the same sort of issue is, is, occurs here when, for example, h is a positive 3.4. That means it would actually look like x minus 3.4 in the equation. So it would look like it'd be shifting to the left. In reality, it would be shifting to the right because the minus sign is part of that formula. Okay. So... That's it for H. H just moves the entire graph left and right. Okay? And you can see that has no effect on the asymptote. The asymptote is the red line that's down there. That's not being affected. Well, in reality, it actually is. It's shifting left and right as well, but that has no effect on where it is. So, all right. Let's go ahead and stop this. And now we'll go ahead and animate K and see what K will do. Any guesses what that's going to do? Wow. Stayed the same as well. Alright, well let's go ahead and play this. Uh, if you guessed that this would move up and down, that is correct. You'll notice also the uh, horizontal asymptote, the red dashed line, also moves with the graph. That's because it's dependent upon K. Alright. You'll notice that when k is a positive number, the equation would have, for example, plus 1.75 in it. And so it would look like it was moving it up, and it actually would be. So that's kind of the opposite behavior of what the h is doing. All right. And if we have k being negative, like negative 1.1, then we would see a minus 1.1 here. And that would indicate what was going on with our vertical, or sorry, horizontal asymptote and the entire graph. Okay? Well, that's it for H and K uh, for this video. Let's go ahead and take care of the final screens. Uh, this was a quick exponential, uh, graphing exponential functions video and talking about H and K. And uh, I'm from A Tutoring Enterprises. That's my business. And uh, that's me, Joe Maciars. Some of my information, my website, my email, um, my phone number. I do online and in-person tutoring in math, physics, and chemistry. Uh, also in some engineering. Uh, give me a call if you need some tutoring. My uh, prices and times are on the website. Uh, this is still part of April Fools. If you looked at the last video, uh, happy April Fools. Uh, doing this on April Fools Day as well. And uh, if the video helped you, uh, feel free to send me a dollar to my PayPal account. Uh, if not, well, just hit that like button. I always like that. And uh, here we're going to have a white screen where you should see some links popping up that uh, basically give you the last video and hopefully the next video and so on down the line so that you can uh, check them all out. I appreciate you watching and um, I hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks.